So we bring the whole class in and the children are creating a package to ship 25 goldfish without it breaking. They have to buy the materials, they have to weigh it because each um, package is going to cost for what it costs and then the idea is to drop it and see if it, they come out with the most that do not break and who will make the most profit. So today is learning about profit. It takes lots of imagination and it's to me, it's really, really fun compared to boring classwork. And you just get to add color, thought, all sorts of materials, and it's, to me, it's just really fun. My plan was to put the goldfish in a plastic egg with packing peanuts and wrap cardboard around it and put masking tape to hold it together. Um, I think I'm most excited about seeing if it will, will break or not. Um, we got a balloon from over there, and we're going to put the goldfish inside of the balloon, so hopefully when it's time for them to drop it, it's going to go gently down and it will hit the ground and nothing will break. We are working well, but we have different ideas. Um, really, I need to focus because I've been playing around and stuff, but I think um, most of us in the group has good ideas. We did pretty well. Only one goldfish broke out of all of them, so we ended up with a pretty good price, uh, $9.85. Um, I think we could have added more cotton balls for more padding so that one goldfish wouldn't have broken. They love engineering, it gets them very excited. We do it all the time, and it's just walking around and hearing the ideas that you would have never thought. As old people, we kind of get set in our ways, but the children come up with a whole new way of doing something. It creates excitement because we're listening to what they have to say as opposed to we telling them what to do. They're coming up with their own plan and that makes them feel like they're more a part of the learning process.